Hey everyone, WanderBot here, and welcome back to Fancy Skulls. So, last run was uh, a little bit on the uh, embarrassing side, considering my dodging potential was... Uh, I was not uh, doing particularly well. I think the greedy eye actually... Oh, hello! You surprised me. Let's see if I can hit him in the eye. No, I'm gonna take two, two uh, hearts of damage. Well, that was... Kind of bad from the get-go, and we get we get a heart, so we got that going for us. Now I think if I get the greedy eye again, I'm actually going to skip out on it because I don't think it's actually that good. Could be wrong. Ooh, hello, flamethrower, and coin. Awesome. Now I will admit I'm a little disappointed that uh, you know this isn't the previous run because the previous run we we're definitely getting some items that were going to help us out uh, fantastically. Mainly, let's see if I can set him on fire. The answer is yes. Ah. Uh, Actually, does a fair amount of damage. Let's see if we can bullseye him in the eye, and then just take that thing out. Yeah, there we go. See, I, I think I just need to uh, need to just get the first-person shooter mojo going. That sounds almost weird. Anyway, uh, let's look around. The answer is nothing, and we've got one more room, maybe two, before we're done with this level. Apparently, can't get through there. Well, backtracking, not that bad of a thing. It does not take long to traverse the levels here, which is great. I generally prefer to be uh, quick and mobile. Okay, so it looks like we've got actually quite a number of enemies here, which is a bit on the concerning side. Now, it looks like we've got this. Okay, so there's one laser. The second one can't threaten us, but that guy can. Hello! And then all we have to deal with is that guy in the corner, who's kind of super far away. Luckily, super far away means, you know, very easy to dodge, but uh, super far away means very... Hard to hit in comparison. Anyway, let's look up. Did we get an item? The answer seems to be no. Okay, whatever. And then all we have is this. We've got to be very careful here because we've got two types of enemies, three types of enemies. So we've got the homing orb nonsense. There we go. Double crit. And then all we have to deal with is... There we go. So I think you might get more loot depending on how many things you've filled out, or not filled out, but like quick, accurate, no damage. I think the more of you those you get, the better loot you get. I mean, that's just a theory, but I'm going to stick to it because it's generally probably a good theory to have. I don't know, kind of hard to tell. Anyway, let's go through the beam of light. Yes, it's one of those where you can uh, jump and. Just you know, pick up from where you left off in the jump, and we fall. We get a chest, we shoot it open, and we get a number of things. Okay, so we get fuel, key, coin. Hmm. That works. I should probably use the flamethrower a little bit more. Hello! Victim number one! Oh boy. This is gonna be a bad thing. Or not actually as bad as I expected. Okay, so that actually somehow worked. I guess just really BS... Uh, bravado seems to work better than uh, trying to be cautious and not take damage. I don't know how this works. What is this? Soothing eye. Not sure what that does. Heals. Ooh. That's going to be useful. wonder how much it heals. Probably just one heart. But just one heart can totally be okay. Let's see if I can crit them both. There we go. Yeah, I, I like the fact that there are enemies that can be critted here. Like... I don't know, it, it just adds a little bit extra incentive to like be accurate here. As opposed to Tower of Guns, which uh, does not have a whole lot of... There we go. Ow. Well, uh, let's take one more heart of damage. I wonder what this guy's weak point is. I think it might be one of the things. Ow. On his... No, it's the orb. Hit the orb. Okay, so Soothing Eye heals one heart. Bit disappointing. Would have been cool if it was too. And we get more fuel. Probably, I don't know, the icon. It looks like dice. Does not look like, uh, or it looks like a die. Does not actually look like, um, a fuel canister. That said, this game is, uh, simple and esoteric, so it, I probably shouldn't complain too much. Anyway, let's get through here. There's a shop. We've got six coins. What can we get? Uh, critical hits add mana. What the heck is mana? How do you get mana? Anyway, I'm gonna go with accurate hits return bullets and the cylinder. I'm gonna do that because that's good. Jump to add a single bullet, bigger cylinder. Yeah, it should be good. Let's reload though. 
because uh, with with luck it will mean less reloading for us in the long run. And back to the flamethrower. There we go. Thank you, flamethrower. You make my life so much easier. Okay, so we've got a frosty thing and a face thing. We know what we do to face things. We punish them with fire. Okay, so we've got a ice thrower, kind of, sort of. Luckily, less on the accurate side. And yep, indeed, we do actually have to reload less. So, so I'm going to attack the laser guy from this angle. Let's just wait until it comes by. And there we go. Okay. Let's see who we get. Fl Flamethrower really cuts through enemies. Damn. Okay, so it looks like double ice, maybe? That's a bit concerning. At least nobody's sneaking up on me, which is great. Okay, so there are two types of ice enemies. Oh, okay, the corner of the wall is blocking the shots from me. I was getting, like, really freaked out there. Right, is that it for this room? No, there's another ice thrower. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Onwards. And there's nothing in here. Except for a chest. Might as well get the chest. We get a key. Wish I had a use for them all, but uh, I don't. Okay, so... Bit on the poor side. Could use more money. Go figure. I did kind of just spend a fair amount. Anyway, let's take this thing out. Look around. Looks like we're pretty safe. We just have to worry about the lasers. Come on, pop up. There we go. And, yep, ac accurate hits. Uh, reload your ammo. Awesome. So, I probably don't need to be as... Let's see if I can... Oh, shoot. There's a ghost. There we go. Apparently, if you hit the ghost in the heart, the ghost dies right away. Anyway, let's... Ah. Nuts. I was hoping hitting that would just immediately blow it up. Not the case. Okay, well, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Interesting. Things, uh... The, uh... The room gets brighter, actually, when you kill all the enemies. I never realized that. Anyway, we're very far away from a charge on Soothing Eye, which is kind of disappointing. I... I mean, go figure, healing items probably can't have that high of a charge, otherwise you'd be uh, healing constantly. And I don't think this game kind of wants that. Realistically, I think it would be really cool to have a roguelike that's not so, like, dependent on not taking damage-ish? I guess it would be cool to have, like, a roguelike, like, um... Like, uh, Dark Souls, really. Because it, it'd be really cool to me if you could, like... Hmm. Oh, we've just got you. And if I remember right, your weak point is on your base. There we go. Yep. But, like, uh, Dark Souls. There's a lot of healing that can be done in Dark Souls. You can get healing miracles. You can get, you know, the Estus Flask. In Dark Souls 2, you can get the uh, life gems. And there's, there's no dearth of healing. It's just one of those where healing is a slow process. And I think it would actually be really cool to have a roguelike kind of like that. Because I'm trying to think of roguelikes that have, you know, a whole heck of a lot of just healing potential. Alright, it's the orb. Fortunately, my accuracy for small white moving objects, kind of bad. Whatever. Just hit him in the thing. And then all we have to deal with is a ghost. Just... Not actually that hard. It's actually kind of see, uh, easy to see the little heart, because it's, you know, there. really wish I know what the, knew what the pinging noise is. Anyway, we've got an item room. We're kind of... Oh, sweet. That means soothing heart is full. What is this thing? Matchbox. Ignite foes nearby. Hmm. Cool. Now, I could be crazy and just, like, immediately go on to the next level. Tempting. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot. Wow. That is... Far more effective than I was expecting it to be. That's actually really useful. Ish. Now, I think I'm hearing a ghost. But more so, I'm hit hearing one of these guys. There we go. And do we have two laser dudes? I think we got two laser dudes. That's unfortunate. Really don't like double lasers. Well. Ah, well, that was sucky. Now, with luck, we can get a second heart somewhere along the process. It'd be nice. Guess there are not two laser dudes. Well, uh, uh... We do have five five coins, so we could go back to a shop and potentially find something useful. Let's go back to spawn and do that, because worst comes to worst, we buy a heart. Prolong the run a little bit. And the answer is reset. Not entirely sure what reset does. Flamethrower, longer afterburn. 
Miss shot strikes with lightning, and huh, not exactly useful stuff. Well, I guess when in Rome, let's pull out the flamethrower and see what we get over here. Let's see if I can set these things on fire. The answer is yes. Well, apparently he died too. Okay, looks like uh, one of the ice throwers, and I don't see any other enemies. But that isn't to say that there aren't any. Okay, they're all dead. So yeah, it looks like it's just this guy. Oh no! Can I? There we go. No, that doesn't kill him. But <laughs> it does give me a very easy target to the point where I don't have to worry about him hitting me. I think we're safe here. Safe-ish. There we go. Please give me a coin. Uh, not a coin, a heart. Just give me two coins. Not what I wanted. Uh, at least Soothing Eye is getting some charge back, which is good, but uh, need a heart here. Have a heart, please, game? No? Hmm. Now the other option is just loot the room and run. If there's no items in here, there's no reason for me to stay. So, shit, the doors are already closed. Oh well. Uh, win a roam! Okay, take that thing out. Leap down here. We got this guy. And then... Face hole. There we go. So we're safe for at least one more room. Just gotta hit this laser guy, but he can't hit me. And we get a heart. Thank you very much. So, we're back in the clear. Or at least a little safe. And hopefully in a couple more rooms, Soothing Heart will be fully charged. Kind of like it in uh, Binding of Isaac, where you know how many rooms it's going to be. But in this case, I think it's based on enemies killed. At least we've got the... Uh, you know, incinerator thing. Which is pretty damn good. This guy does not want to die. There we go. Now he's dead. And I think we got lasers coming? Yeah, we do. Question is, when are we safe from lasers? Oh, it's over there. Oh, hello. Oh, not enough. Oh! Mana is the... Mana is the item charge. There we go, and onwards. So I guess as long as I don't miss, I never have to reload. Probably should uh, start doing that more often. Anyway, we can go on to the next floor, because I'm not going to have enough coins to purchase anything in the store. Onwards. We're on level 4 to 5. Honestly, I don't think we're going to get any further than level 4 or 5. Hello, but I don't think we've ever been this far, because I do not recognize this uh, room texture. Anyway, bigger cylinder. I wish, wish I had actually gotten the... Uh, you know, bullets or accurate shots give mana. That would uh, that would have been really effective in our current situation. Okay, so we've got this guy. Worry about him a little bit. Okay. So we seem to have like just a focused laser in a direction. Never seen an enemy like this. But then again, we've never been here before. It looks like they turn kind of slowly. Which kind of makes sense. Ooh, I don't even know what that was. Oh, maybe that was um, all my shell casings? Because if I reload, do they come out? Yeah, they come out. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, so, uh, we're at two hearts. We're on to level four, so, you know, different room texture. A bit on the concerning side. Anyway, we've got something over there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... Book it? The answer is booking it. Bad idea. Okay, so there's that guy on the ground. Concerning. Let's see. Maybe if I just set it on fire? Beautiful. And then we just have to deal with Shield Man over there. Shield Man is dead. And then... Okay. And the question is, can I get close enough to burn him without taking damage? The answer is yes. Okay. And we get a coin for our troubles, which is not what I wanted. I want a, I want a heart here, otherwise we're going to die. But we did make it to level 4 out of 5, which is further than we usually make it. So I'm going to call that some kind of success. Anyway, bigger cylinder, first shot after reload, does double damage. That's not very useful. Last two bullets in cylinder do double damage. God, none of them are good. Like, they might help. Maybe. Looks like we've got two chests up in here, so what I'm going to do is just immediately book it upwards. You know, spawn the enemies. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, didn't take falling damage from that. Gotta worry about these things, though. Luckily, as long as I strafe around, not actually a problem. 
And they seem to kill themselves, which is pretty awesome. Because that means, as long as I strafe around, all I have to worry about are these things. Beautiful. Oh, nuts. Bad place to be. I don't... Apparently we got a heart in there. Oh, yeah, from one of the chests. Well, disappointing that I've lost it. And do we get a... a do we get an item for our trouble? The answer is no. But we do get to go to an item room, so we've got that. Oh, and we got the soothing heart charged in full. We've got more than enough keys and an SMG. Eh, it's probably better than... Uh, hmm, here's an interesting question. It's probably better than the flamethrower in terms of, like, accuracy and whatnot. Now, here's the question. Do we want to go in here? The answer is no. There's nothing in there. Uh, I'm going to go to the shop, see if it has an item for the Uzi. The answer is no. Well, that's disappointing because I want to use this gun. Do we want to go in here? No. Do we want to just go on to the next level? Yes. Why not? Because if we can make it up to level 5, hey, it'd be cool. Now, I am kind of interested in the fact that this game does not actually have, uh, you know, bosses at the end of every level. And I'm kind of glad for it, but it does make the game feel maybe a little bit less stressful. Because I don't have to worry about the whole... Okay, so I've got plenty of ammo for the Uzi and a lot of coins. Let's see what's at the shop. SMG, every third bullet sets on fire, chance of dealing double damage. Hmm. Both are pretty good. I'm going to go with every third bullet sets enemies on fire. That sounds more useful than double damage, at least in this scenario. Anyway, it's, yeah, that's effective. Okay, because I can, I can do burst fire, and it's actually going to be useful. Let's see if I can hit that guy. Nope. Okay, you know what? Seeing as we're pretty safe here, let's just uh, use the revolver. Revolver is life. Okay. Wow, that's actually really effective. Uh, we're still low on hearts, but we're not dying. What the heck is this thing? Dark crystal. Mana... How slow is it? It's very slow, but that's actually a really good thing, because that means soothing hearts are going to charge whether or not we're doing things, I think. Awesome. So, that's uh, pretty good. Maybe it only charges when we're in rooms with, you know... Ooh, hello. There we go. And we've got that guy over there, which is a bit on the concerning side of things. Let's see. Uzi is my friend, though. Let's see if I can take out these orbs, though. Because Wander does not want. Whoa, watch it. They're, they're still following me around. Boy. Wait, if I'm, like, near a wall or something like that, it will inevitably blow itself up on them, or I could just shoot it. Okay, there we go, and bang. Bingo, bango, bongo. So if I can get the other one to power up the Uzi a little bit more, that'd be pretty awesome. And if not, oh well. Okay, there's nothing back here, there's nothing in the middle of the room. Our hearts are coming back to us, so that's good. And we've got the Uzi. Could use some ammo on it, but uh, it's good as like an emergency gun, I think. Kind of, sort of. Anyway, what do we... Oh, mm, it's one of those things. Well, that's concerning. Anyway, looks like we've got crabs? Ish. I have to be a little careful here. Because I don't know when the crabs come after us. But, currently they haven't seemed to notice us, which is great. Because it means I can focus on taking out all of the uh, evil orbs. And we take some damage. But, uh, Tora Tora. And we also have a shop to contend with here. And everything's on fire, which is pretty awesome. Ow. Well, there we go. Everything's dead. But, Soothing Heart is fully charged. Gambling. No. Not going to do that. So, uh, I'm glad we, we got that Dark Crystal that's going to be uh, severely useful, I think. Kind of hard to tell. Anyway, uh, does a shop have anything useful for us? Shop. Shop. Can't shop at the shop. Interesting. Okay. Who are we fighting here? It's a ghost. There we go. Ghost is dead. Apparently got- oh, it's like this guy. Let's burn him, I guess. So, we're still doing kind of crap as far as health goes. Oh, it's two of these guys. That's concerning. But that's okay, because they're kind of susceptible to long-range attacks. And we get a heart for our troubles. Awesome. 
Let's just blow them all up, I think. There we go. And we're good. Do we have any other canisters in this room? The answer is no. Why the heck did I even come in here, then? Oh, well. And we haven't found the item room on this floor yet, which is good. Unfortunately, uh... We still have to be careful. Oh, there's somebody behind us. Take out the face first. We've got lasers to be a little concerned about, and I'm not entirely sure what that thing is. But, uh... It's dead. Not problem. Now, can I hit this thing in the corner and it dies? The answer is yes. Okay, so we can use line of sight very effectively against our enemies. Now, I do have the curiosity of can I leap over the laser beam? However, this is not Tower of Guns. Come on, there we go. And he's dead. And we get a coin for our troubles. Not exactly what we need. We need health, but, uh, I mean, luckily we do have a way of healing. Sweet. So there is also the ray gun. I'm going to pick up the ray... Oh, nuts. What's the ray gun do? Oh, that's what it does. I'm going to pick up the SMG. I think it's going to be uh, better in terms of uh, everything. You know, soothing eye. Let's see, does the soothing eye just regenerate while you wait? The answer is no. So the soothing eye probably regenerates while you are in a room uh, that, you know, has active enemies in it and not any other way, I think. Could be wrong about that. Anyway, shot. SMG, chance of dealing double damage. Volver, chance to set on fire. Eh. It's good across the board. Let's go for it. And there's nothing else we can buy in there. Well, we're a bit low on money. Er, yeah, we're low on money and we're hello. Okay, so we've got a lot of crazy stuff going on here. I'm going to see if we can burn this guy first and foremost. Let's see if we can blow these things up. Ah! Tora, Tora. Ow. That hurt. Okay, that's dead. And then it's the tree. That's scary. I think. Now, half a half a mind to just oozy it up. But, those things die fairly fast, right? Right, okay. So, Soothing Eye is almost fully charged. We have another coin for what good that does us. And we have access to an item room. What's the item room got on it? Please don't have, like, another freaking... Oh, what's this thing? Spyglass. See what's in the eggs. Cool. That's convenient. Sort of. Not enough mana. Almost. There we go. So I guess it is just a very, very slow mana regen across the board. So if I... Ooh, hello. Hmm. Uh, see what's in eggs. Not exactly the most useful, but it does give me the ability to be watchful. Because essentially, can start by oozing that thing to death. Awesome. And then, if I'm accurate, there we go. can take him out without having to uh, try very hard. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is run before the lasers come. And then I can just actually hide back here. Hit that thing, and then we're pretty much safe. Tactical. And then those mines don't bother us at all. Sweet. Ah. <laughs> seeing the... Uh, seeing the shell casings come out every single time. Freaks me out more than a little. Okay, so we've got a chaser dude. I don't want to use the Uzi unless I have to, so we're gonna go in here. Kill them both. Okay. Oh, right. Worst comes to worst, bring around the posies. Yeah, awesome. Then all we have left is a uh, mine layer man. There we go, and he's dead. So, uh, we've got plenty of keys. Let's go in and see what this does. Dark gem gives coins on damage. That's not so good. Ammo for the Uzi, that's actually really useful. And some coins. And more coins, awesome. What's the shop have for us? We've got a key and health. Hmm, tempting. I'm gonna go with the health, just cause. We're, I mean, we've got healing potential. I just like to be uh, careful with it. Anyway, we found the item room. We don't have a whole lot of money. And uh, I wanna see what's on level seven. Cause I think it's in uh, sets of three. See if it's a different tile set. The answer is yes. Ooh, I like this. It's kind of nice. Anyway, we get ammo and coins. So we're at five coins. Faster bullets, chance of dealing double damage. SMG, no bullet spread. Ah. Hmm. Uh, none of them are wholly that useful. Generally, I prefer to open up my... Uh, huh. Never seen some of these before. Well, that's concerning. Unfortunately, also means I have to deal with one of the homing or the homing guy here, which is a 
bit on the concerning side of things. Hello. And I'm honestly not sure what the dark orbs do. They're scaring me more than a little bit, but uh, as long as I stay mobile here, I think we're going to be okay. There we go. No damage taken. Not exactly the fastest, but worked out well for us. Does not look like we get... Oh, dear. Oh, those are like slowing fields. That's interesting. And freaky. Those must be like damage pads. Hello. Well, fire to your face. Okay, he's dead. Burn everything. Okay, so stay mobile. The dark thing can't hurt you that much. You get a coin for a trouble. Yes, yeah, so stay away from the red area. The red area is probably scary. Apparently it burned to death. Awesome. Okay, do we have anything else in here that's... Uh, oh, there's a heart in the corner. Or there's also a chest. More coins. Get the heart. I was wondering what that was as I went by, but I guess I was not paying attention. Anyway, we could leave the level if we really wanted to. But I don't. I want to keep going. This is a really good run, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, I really don't want these. Actually, no bullet spread could be really useful. Means accuracy. And we are gaining a fair amount of coins here, so... Looks like we're going to have to largely stay in the center. Unless, I mean, realistically, we... Ow. Well, there's one damage, but we do have the soothing eye. So we've got that going for us. And then... Kill that thing, and then all we have to deal with is, uh, Scary Man. Ow. Okay. Well, we've taken, uh, more damage than I wanted to. But it's okay. Because coin and coin. Those orbs do not go away. Maybe they do, it just takes an inordinate amount of time. Which we do not have time for and really, really don't care for. Anyway, how's the ammo on our Uzi? It's actually fine. I probably should use it a little bit before I leave the room. Come to think of it. Okay, so what do we got? We got one of these things. I'm just going to gun that thing down. Hello. Somebody's got homing shots. There we go. And I think part of it is I just, by default, like using the revolver. Okay. Ow. Please don't have any more homing things. Thank you. So we're back down to two hearts. Not exactly keen on that kind of business, but... Uh, Oh, well, I'm not gonna get that immediately. Hello, item room. What do you got for me? Dark coin. Twelve coins. Sweet. So we can do that. Uh, don't need the ammo. I want to say that's like a damage pad, and I really don't want to deal with it. It does perk my interest, though. Well, let's see what's in this room. It's fairly large. Looks like a number of these things. Well, that's okay. They die very fast to uh, Uzi shots. Luckily. Anyway, so the black zones seem to be slow zones, and I don't know what else is in here. Ow. Well, there's that. We got a lot of coins for our trouble. Wish I could get up. Uh, soothing Eye is not charged. This is where things get scary again, and there's, you know, a chest that I can't get to. Anyway, let's grab the ammo. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna go to the shop. Shop got anything? Nope. Shop is inactive. Well, that means we go to the next level because we've already cleared everything out, which is good. And hopefully we can get one more health or, you know, lose the run. That's okay. I think we're going on to level 8, too. I mean, I'd be sad if we don't make it to level 9, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so... No reloading. That's good. Uh, jump to head to do... Well, considering we're sitting on a lot of money... Let's just do it. Sticky bombs. Okay. And reset. Not entirely sure what reset does, but hey. Uh, we don't. We no longer have to reload the revolver, which is great. And the question is, if I was super patient, could I use the soothing heart? The answer is yes. But do I want to do that? The answer is no. Oh, there's an extra heart. Beautiful. Beeline for that instead. Because we've got this guy. Who dies. Come on, just just burn. There we go. And there's nobody back here, so we're, we're at least remotely safe in that regard. And we just have to figure out where the enemies are here. Please don't be something surprising. Something semi-surprising. Okay, so we've got another one of the, like, wiggly black orbs. We also seem to have, um... Okay, there we're good. Is that... No, the room is not done. There's still another thing in here. Surprise me. Anyway, Soothing Heart is charged. Oh, you're not dead. There we go. And kaboosh. 
Looks like he left a lot of orbs for us. Glad I dodged that one. Uh, please don't have any other ones waiting for me in surprise. Wow. I guess those guys just uh, churn out orbs constantly. Anyway, shop. Key health bullets. Feather. Wonder, wonder if feather is like extra jumps or something like that. We'll have to come back because we do not need any of these things. I mean, the extra heart could be nice, but not wholly necessary right now. Okay, so, in this situation, I think the smart money is, use Uzi, is smart. Take that thing out, take these things out, and reload, and I've forgotten you had to do that. And there we go, kaboosh. Not, uh, not the wisest, but we're working it. Okay, we're on level 8 of 9, we get Feather. Oh, Feather gives us an extra jump, that's awesome. Uh, if I could get one more coin, we can get another feather and have a uh, triple jump. Wish uh, you got more feathers early on. Oh well. Anyway, let's blow up every chest before we enter the room. Looks like it's a number of goodies. So let's go in and hope for the best here. Now, it looks like we've got this guy. Can I blow it up? The answer is no. Nuts. Well... Eat fire, I guess. And homing things. And ice. And okay, so this is actually working. That actually worked out a heck of a lot better than I thought it would. No damage taken. Quick. And we get extra coin. There's a gambling thing, but I really don't want to deal with it. And there's ammo. Beautiful. I made the right decision in a lot of cases here because flamethrower probably wouldn't have been that good. But uh, SMG, pretty damn good. Okay, so let's go to the shop. Buy a feather. Exit shop, get the feather. So now we got triple jump. So suddenly this has become Tower of Guns. Awesome. Uh, unfortunately, the one chest that we couldn't reach earlier as a result of being super high, well, can't get it anyway. But does not look like we take falling damage here. So that's uh, pretty damn good. Do you have to worry about the slow zones? Oh, shoot. Okay. So, ah, shoot. Well, suddenly, uh, suddenly turning it into Tower of Guns actually ended up killing us. I mean, realistically, that room was pretty bad altogether for us in general, but, uh, you know, it was still fun to have a triple jump, and, uh, apparently the lasers can kill that thing. Anyway, so I will see you guys on the next run of Fancy Skulls, and as always, thanks for watching.